So I was in this hospital over here because I developed a virus which killed off most of the population of West Bay. Um, and I've actually got better now. Now in the previous video I said comment down below a cool name for the hospital as we didn't have a name for it. So the winner with the most likes is Bouncy Boy with the Hushable Hospital. And as you can see here, I've got it named. So congratulations Bouncy Boy, you have a bit of history inside my let's play, there we go. Okay, so it's 1863, a year has gone by and my supervisors tell me that we have some more engineering going on in the city. Um, yeah, that's right, so a lot of people died in the, the plague of 62, but after, in the year, we have new industry. You can see here, there's some new industrial buildings here. These weren't here, all of them at least, before. Um, so those being here has given us some new items. So you know what? Let's go check them out and see what we've got. If we go inside here, we've got anything new. Nothing new on road debt vehicles. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's check out railway. Let's see here. Do we have... We have a new train. Awesome. We will definitely put that to use. Now, do we have anything else? It doesn't look like it. But a new train is very good, definitely. Right, what else have we got? Do we have... Um, let's go over here to... Oh, I got rid of the tram network, didn't I? Um, okay, well, we'll come back to it if we need to. Let's check out boats. I really hope we have a boat. Please be a boat. Ah, no boat. Yeah, uh, if you were new to the Let's Play, by the way, I'd recommend going watching the uh, the videos before this, but we've been asking for a boat for so many episodes. So many. Because we're using all three. One is using... That's the, the Zoraster is just fuel, and we're doing, we're doing fuel for that one, as you can see. Very overcrowded. Uh, and then the other two are doing wood. And it's just about enough to deal with the demand. You can see here there's a little bit, but there, that, that's it. <laughs> we don't have any more than that, so it's a real pain to do that. Oh look, there's a, a new road that's been built in the last year. Look at that, that's very nice. That's awesome, I love that. That's a very nice road. Really cool, that. Bit of a pain for me, I guess, because it's going straight past my industrial zones, but uh, we'll figure that out later. I'll probably put a railway crossing in somewhere, maybe like here. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but uh, yeah, I think we're fine for now. So, new train, what are we going to do with the new train? Before we do new trains though, we need to check out our statistics. Because I have left my supervisors in charge, but I'm not quite sure how good of a job they've been doing. I think they should have been doing a good job. So let's see our finances here. So we're looking pretty blue for, ooh, you're a bit red, okay, but that's uh, that's industry, so that doesn't matter because it's going to go blue in a sec, which means it's in transit. Now, how about passengers? We all seem to be in the blue here. That's some pretty good stuff. So yeah, basically, there's a little bit less money being made, but it's considering we just lost like half the population of West Bay, it's pretty good. Uh, you can see here that there's still kind of a, like a lack of uh, passengers, so I will have to sort some stuff like this out. Uh, but all in all, pretty good start. Not too bad. Now let's check out the rest of the map because my supervisors managed to cut off the railway in time. So no one has actually left the mainland and gone to West Bay. Not a single soul has, has actually gone over here aside from West Bay and, and the uh, the Felicity Gang. Not Felicity, Lumpkin. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, why do I keep saying it? Anyway, so the only people infected are West Bay and, uh, and Lumpkin over here. So... That means we should probably check out all of these guys because, seeing as though no plague has happened, these should be kind of making like pretty good money for us. As you can see here, there's no queues or anything with these buses. Now let's check out the trains. Where are the trains? A couple over in Woodstock, uh, usually, but there's not today. Where are the trains? So we've got two here. These guys should be f Oh, here's my passenger. So you can see here, pretty much full. That's good. So there's actually no change here, which is great. And you can see these are our money makers. So this is basically what's been keeping us afloat when the plague was really going full on. But as you can see, the train here is very, very uh, outdated. It's looking all rusty and, and horrible. So we've got to sort that out. But before we go any further, seeing as though it's episode 14, and if you watch the series a lot, you'll know that we do about a year an episode. We try to do a year every episode. Let's go forward a year. So let's set the date to go to one quarter speed. There we go. And we're going to see what we get in the new year. It's December the 30th. December the 31st, and it's the new year. Ah, 
That's a shame, we didn't get anything. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. At least you got a, a new train in the last year, so I'm not complaining, am I? Awesome. And as Borsig pulls into the station to pick up some more passengers, let's go back over and sort our buses, because as we just saw, they're not looking too good, are they? So let's go over to West Bay here, and let's figure out the problem. Um, so there's actually no passengers here. So what if I was to move, or in fact add, a bus stop? Why don't I put a bus stop, like, back on this street instead? Because not only is that increasing journey time, which in this instance is a good thing, believe it or not, um, it would also probably increase catchment. You see here, I'm not covering the whole thing, but maybe here? Or, or in fact here maybe? Or, yeah, here is a really good spot actually. So if I put it down here, which uh, we need to go on this side of the road to follow it around. So here, so if I put down a big stool, bit of frame loss there. If I put down a stop just there, right, and then I go to this station here, fan shuttle, transfer Taylor Street onto this stop here, which is River Street. There we go, there's a bit of a crossover, which I don't really like to do at all, because it creates traffic, but it's just a problem for the future for us to solve, I suppose. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that too much, we just worry about our immediate funds. Uh, I think that should fix somewhat the problem, although I'm also going to sell, I think, two of these. Because there is a bit too high supply, not enough demand for that. Oh, and I need to make uh, on on this line as well, where are we? Uh, fan shuttle, and then I need to make this one a full load, if any. There we go. Cool! Alright, so let's get on with this train. So, what I want to do, main line, let's, look, let's have a look at this train. Okay, so here our train comes into West Hampton. We're going to stop the train as soon as it's unloaded and then send it back to the depot. And what we're going to do is we're going to swap over our Class T with our new train, seeing as though it is our express service. Okay, so now we're inside engineering. What we can do is we can swap out our variants. So before we had a Class T, I think uh, a Swift uh, modification. We're going to be using a, a Class GV this time, but we need to choose which one. So let's have a look at the statistics here. So we've got 190 and 19, and I'm going to go probably with the freight one, actually. Let's have a look at the... Uh, what's the lifespan looking like? Pretty okay, it's the same for both. Okay, let's have a look at this statistics. So plus max speed for the Glorious, okay. So where is our, our top speed? There it is. Oh, I, I can't be doing with 39. No, Glorious it is. Add. Awesome. That should help us out. Okay, good stuff. Let's chuck that back on the line. Uh, we'll get that train to come out, and what we'll do then is we will change our our old train, we will use on something else. So here it is, our new locomotive coming out, the Class GV, here it is, coming around the corner. Oh wow, that is nice, that is very cool, I like that. Very nice looking train, I'm surprised it runs on wood actually, considering the other one ran on coal. This one's pretty, pretty interesting. But we'll let that train go, and we'll sort out what we can do with our Class T. So, hang on a sec, what if I was to go... Maybe the Borsig, I'm thinking. It's, it's a tricky one, really, because you've got to kind of think about where the train is going. Because this one is only going Woodstock, uh, and then Lauby, and then Mount Victory. But, um, I'm thinking it might get bigger. Now, what other trains do we have? We have the... The, the freight one and the GV. So, yeah, this is kind of our only option unless we increase the line size. So, maybe we make a freight line and put the T class T on it. I'm thinking. We could do that. That's something we could do definitely. Um, or we could actually just put the... Uh, we could put the train on this one. Because it would be nice to have another train. Although, it, it kind of feels like a, a little bit low duty, if that makes sense. Because, these look at these trains. Like, look at them. They're cheap, like, small, low-powered engines. So I think it would be really out of place there. So, let's think here. What about if we were to do steel? That might be the winner. A few videos a while back, I did some maths. And I figured out that the trains we had wouldn't be able to pull. It was actually the uh, the Class T-Type Zero? I don't know. Let me find it here. <laughs> it was uh, it was this train here. It was the Class V. That's the one. And it didn't have enough power to pull it up the hill to uh, to get the steel up the hill. But now we have a, a more powerful engine. That's probably possible. So I think we'll do that. Alrighty, let's get started. Right, starting off then. Let's go. Buildings. We need to choose 
that's nice. Okay. Well, that's good. I didn't realise that because it didn't come up at the top with a notification. But we just did unlock uh, underground stations, as you can see here. That's really cool. Okay, 1864. Definitely worth it. Thumbs up from me. Okay, so I've been looking at the steel and I've had a look at the actual train. Um, if you were to do iron, it would be too far of a distance really to be profitable. So what I've done is I've just had coal supply uh, and then the, the business can privately source its own iron. We'll come back to that in a bit where we can supply them with iron in like a later episode because there's a lot I need to do for this. I've been having a look around and it's probably best if I hook this track here up to a station and then hook this track here over to a tunnel. Oh, not quite that, but you know what I mean. Like it goes through here and then through a tunnel here and then hooks up to this track right about there. Uh, so it's definitely doable. We'll do it in the future. Uh, but let's look at our train here. My original plan was to use the class T. However, it wasn't powerful enough. So the class T, you can see here, is back using the mainline route with passengers. So not, not really what I wanted. I would like the GV to be honest because it's a bit faster. But whatever, we can, we can keep it like that for now because what I've done instead, I've put the class GV, and you can see it's just going past there. I've put the class GV on the coal route. Now I'm going to just wait until this train gets back over facing this direction because I just want to show you a really cool thing I've been working on. So you might be wondering about now, where's the train? Well, there's a good reason I have the train at the back. And that is because these trucks full of coal are very heavy. And when we go over a hill, the weight of the coal, when it gets to the top of the hill, is actually helping the train uh, go up the hill more, if that makes sense, because there's less weight to be pulled. So the reason I have this on the back is simply just because I get a bit more power out of it. Um, it's got pretty good tractive effort, a lot better than the Class T is the reason I use the Class V because the tractive effort is much better. Hopefully we can get some really good trains for, at least for tractive effort. I'm not too bothered about top speed for this sort of thing. It's just going up hills, like this hill isn't too bad, but uh, this hill, it doesn't look much, but it is. It is, if you look at that angle, probably about two degrees, two or three degrees, it's hard. Watch this. You see how the speed on this train is going about 31 miles, miles an hour, I mean kilometers an hour, going about 31 kilometers an hour, and you see it's going down now. There we go, it's going down to about 20. And now originally, I, I have actually spent about probably four hours since the last cut, uh, just trying to get this to work. I've spent a long time. This is the best thing I've come up with. It cost me a lot of money. A lot of those hours is just me sat here waiting for more money because this track, I think this piece from just here, all the way to down over here, pretty sure that is about 10 million? It costs a lot of money, let's say, anyway. But this track's going to last us a long time, of course, because we can use it not just for coal, but for iron as well when we get to that. Uh, but it does also, of course, just work for the time being, because it does serve the purpose of delivering coal to the steel mill. And it's making a fair amount of money. You can see here, I do need to redo this track. You can just see, like, it's a tiny little hill, but yet we're on 9 kilometers an hour. Very slow stuff. So I've got probably going to have to fix that at some point, but it's easy stuff that I can do off camera. But here we go, we're pulling in uh, to the steel mill. And it's going to make about 200k, I think. It's it's pretty good money. There you go, 300k. It's, it's definitely good money. So that's hopefully going to keep us going for quite a while. Um, so I think that that's about it for the coal, really. So I'm not quite sure what we'll do in the next episode. Either we'll do the, the iron if we have enough money for that. Or we could do some tourist stuff here with more passenger stations maybe. There's a lot of things to consider. I'm sure we'll find something to do. So I'm kind of sorry that I didn't actually record a lot of the building stuff. But you wouldn't have enjoyed it. I, like I promise you it was it was not fun to, to watch. Because I just kept building something and it was wrong. And then deleting it and then it wasn't really working out. So... I think it's probably just better to leave it this way where I just come in and tell you what I've done. Uh, I don't know, you guys let me know. What would you have preferred? Would you have preferred to watch that or would you just prefer how I did it? Let me know in the comments so I know for the next time. Uh, but we need to do one more thing before we finish this video, which I have yet to decide. Uh, it's, a, it's probably a tricky one to do because there's not a lot of easy, easy things to do. It doesn't take too long to complete. Possibly make a passenger station, I'm thinking. Maybe we could do like Mount Victory to Fawnsdale possibly or Elma oh, but that's a big bridge that's the issue because bridges are very expensive it's kind of hard 
yeah, it looks like we could probably go from Mount Victory to Somerville and then later on Somerville to Browns. I think that works. Okay, we'll do it. Cool. Let's make a start then. So, tracks. This train is how fast? 50. Okay, cool. We'll pull off here, make it nice and straight, of course, straight as we can. That looks good to me. We'll bring this track down to the water's edge. So bring it over here a bit. Now the issue is with this is I've kind of got to go that angle like that because it's a bit of an e like it's a bit of a weird one. The line sort of comes this way, but then this one kind of goes that way. So it's kind of about finding a medium between that. But I think there's probably about right. If I go to the center line, just make that wood. Um, if I go to the center line and then just go there and then go from there to there, but keeping it straight, that should be okay, I think. Let's have a look. How's that? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Okay, there's our bridge. Probably about a million for that. So, like I say, very expensive. Uh, might have to take a bit of a loan out here, actually, come to think of it, because things are very expensive. As you can see, like, that's two million. <laughs> Brutal mode, yeah. It's, it's a challenge, definitely. Uh, is there a cheaper way of doing this? Not really, I don't think. Unless I was to... Get rid of some... Ah, I could do that, I suppose. If I take that out, go back to the bottom of the bridge, and then just go like... I could do that, I suppose. Yeah, if I do that, bring that... It's still a little bit of a, a heavy hill, but it's not that bad. And then all I've got to do with that is just take that back and bring that to there. You can see it's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. So I'll just wait until I get 900k. It shouldn't take too long. Or, you know, I can just take a loan out as well. That just works, doesn't it? Borrow. And then we'll just connect this guy to this guy. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I could have done a better job of that, but I think that's not too much of a problem. I don't really like these sort of stabs into the countryside, but it's kind of the straightest route I could think of doing. So I would... like You can see how the curve was supposed to go over here, but... Uh, yeah, it's cheaper this way, so we, we don't really need to spend too much money on that. Uh, just got to connect up to Somerville now, this is exciting. So, uh, here's a little bit of a tricky thing to do, because Somerville is kind of compact, right? So we need some way to turn the train around. We're going to use the new underground station for Somerville. Yeah, very interesting stuff, I know. It's going to be expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it. So if we go in here and make this, uh, how do we do this, one track, is it? So here we go, track numbers one. Okay, no electrified, and we'll keep it. Actually, you can see it, can't you, if you go here. So what we'll do, I think if we make the tracks like, uh, oh dear, that's not the right button. <laughs> I'm pressing everything. No, go back to, what? what is it, zero? I think it is, I hope it is. Zero, there we go. And what's platform height? Ah, it's just the height in relation to the train, I think. All right, I'll just leave that like, Central, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I've never used this before. And then platform length. We don't really need 160, so we'll just keep that like 100 and 100. Yeah, 100 works. And then the radius. What's the radius? Ooh, that's fancy. Look at that. That's very cool. We don't need it, so we won't do that. <laughs> Let's just make it back what it was, which I think was infinite, right? Yeah, there we go. So what do we want for patterns? There's so much customizable stuff inside here it's really cool but i can't seem to find how many platforms we are platform on the left ah there we go that's really cool i love that that's awesome let's just change the patterns quickly there so we've got that one or that one modern or old basically i so i am quite a big fan of the of the old one to be honest with you i think that's quite nice and what about floors what have we got for floors? Bricks. Boring. So I think these are probably the best settings for us. We're going to need to take out another loan because we don't really have any money. But I think these are the best settings for our underground station. So with these settings, let's find a place. By the way, I've never done this before. So uh, I remember once I made one underground station. That was Transport Fever 1 though. So it's a first for me in Transport Fever 2. But let's find a place where we can place this. Maybe directly under the uh, city centre we could do. That makes a lot of sense. If I put it like the track under the road, maybe. So just spin that round a little bit. 
And then if I plop that down, where's the stairs? Are they on both sides? Yeah. So if I put that down like... Uh, like about... About... Where are we? Is it, Actually, let's make the, the, st uh, the length of the platform a little bit longer. Because then we can fill the whole road up. That's a bit too long. Get like 140. Yeah, that's pretty good look. Because then the stairs are on both sides, you see. So that's pretty good. And then we'll put the track underneath the road, but not the station. It's kind of hard to line this up. So just like... Like... Where are we? Stairs are there. Stairs go to there. Oh, it's actually... I think a bit longer. So the station... It looks like the station goes a bit longer than where the stairs actually go to. So that's not too big of an issue yeah we just do that there and we'll place that down there we go right what's this we need to have an entry point apparently okay let's get rid of these because they're kind of in our way all right there's our oh that looks very nice look at that okay now we need an exit so how do we do exits might have to look this one up on the internet i'm not quite sure how you do that oh hello is this it this might be it so what do i do here with this one do I put it... no? What if I configure this to be like... shorter? Yeah, and then just put... one of those guys here? No, is that not how it works? No? Um, well, this is rather tricky. Okay, let's get rid of that then. And let's try again. But this time let's put the, the track... Uh, the whole platform even underneath the road. I think that might be better. So if we just put that down like, let's say there. Alright, and then we go with the the exits and put them just... Oh my, really? Are you not working like that? That's stupid. What? I can't believe this. Seriously, I cannot believe what's happening. Let's try this one more time. So, we'll go to the train. We're gonna make the track. Let's, in fact, why don't we try... Yeah, we could try. Let's put the let's rotate it, and then let's put like the yeah. There we go, like that. And then now it should work, right? Right game. Kinda, <laughs> kinda sorta. Okay, right. Before we place it down, let's edit it though, because edit looks nice always. Concrete's boring. Iron is quite nice. Uh, glass is boring. So yeah, we'll go with iron, and then wall pattern, we'll go with the nice one. Floor pattern, we'll go with the nice one. And we'll plop that. Oh, can we make it bigger? We can make it bigger. Okay, big platform goes in... Uh, I'll put it in the other way, actually. That makes a lot of sense to put it in that way. Because then we can actually, like, access it with relative ease. Which makes a lot of sense. Cool, we are done now. I think that is just the one side, actually. We need to do the other one, don't we? So I think if we put one in like here as well, sorry buildings, you're gonna have to go uh, bin. So if we put one in like here as well, then that should cater both sides of the city. I think at least. Let's have a look. Can we see? No, you can't. You can't actually see where it caters. That's a little bit annoying if, if you ask me. But I think that's that's everything. Question mark. Does that? I mean, it should cover it, right? Where is it connected to? Are you connected? I don't know. Tick. Oh, there we go. Ah. Oh, okay. This one is not connected. That's quite annoying. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Add entry level. Here we go. And then we just place one down, like, here again. And there we go. We just tick that and then go. And now it should work. Yeah, there we go. Covers the whole town as well. Excellent. Right, I'm really happy with that. Awesome, let's build some tracks now. Tracks, 50. Let's find which one. So, there's our platform. There's our track. Let's pull that. Okay, why have we got collisions? No, come on. Okay, <laughs> this is a lot more temperamental than I expected. Can we make the, the like the, the what's it called? The, the depth lower? Is that a thing? Platform height low. Can I do that? Is that going to fix things I wonder there? Nope. Right, time to redo the whole thing. Great. <laughs> Damn it. Now do you work? Yeah! Alright, nice stuff. It's rather deep in the ground. Not really what I wanted to do. 
but it does work so I'm, I'll take it and we'll just go here and put this guy in right about there yeah and then we need to click on that add entry level and then click that and put one of these guys right about there-ish tick that and then place and now we have it done okay brilliant it works now good let's connect our tracks up so track goes around here gonna keep this nice and flat of course really cheap actually I thought it was gonna be a lot more expensive to do than that so what do you know there we go let's bring this forward to there and the same for this side oh that's the wrong one come on track where are you there you are bring this forward as well nice and where is the track? It's over here. Hello, track. Let's make the uh, the railway. We might as well. So, ooh, okay. Okay, game. You got me stumped here for a second, but I think I fixed it. Just do a bit of a wibbly-wobbly track because money. <laughs> there we are. Sorted. All right, now we just got to bring this to ground level. So that's a lot of money. Could we just not do that, please? Uh, boring is really cheap, isn't it? Wow, that's so okay. If 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 boring is that cheap, we're gonna we're gonna bore some more because the city surely is gonna expand. So I think that's a good idea anyway. Let's place that down. In fact, is the tunnel type actually selected? I swear, if it isn't, I'm gonna be so mad because I have to redo it. Please be selected. I I honestly I really hope the tunnel type is working. It should be default. So, uh, I really hope so anyway. Uh, let's get... Oh, we've run out of money. Quick loan. 1.5 is not too bad. We can afford to uh, to have that sort of loan. Let me drop this back down. Alright, good stuff. Bring this around here. Looking good. And then this comes up to the surface. Which is going to cost a lot of money. Nearly 2 million. Guess we're going to have to borrow some more. Okay. There is a... Oh, wow. That is quite expensive. Going to have to do it, though. Because if I, if I spend too much time going, like, straight up, then the trains are going to struggle. So I have to do it like this. Otherwise, it's going to, like... It's going to get stuck, basically. The train's not going to be able to get out of there. So that's a big, big problem for me. It's going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> basically so it's, it's a lot of money not the greatest not the greatest at all but we'll, we'll work with it I suppose we're gonna have to 2.39 million crikey wow that's a lot of money and I'm gonna have to borrow a lot of money here because I have to do it two times wow unless actually if I was to go forward with this for a bit this is probably a better idea I just oh, I can't because the level of the landscape's too low. Damn it! Okay. Uh, wow. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Oh man. Bring that to there then. Sure, we'll do that. Place. And then if we bring this guy into here, that's not so bad. I I guess. Is it? Just got to make a tunnel. So that's not too bad. It's like it's tolerable. It's okay. Just plug that in there and make it the right tunnel. And then go like that. So there should be... Yeah, it looks like there is an outside to the tunnel. If I look inside, it, yeah, I can see. Okay, cool. Right, <laughs> that took some doing, didn't it? Uh, here we are. Let's make the new line so that from Mount Victory... Oh, one last thing. We need to go like... Like... That, that way. Because then the train has to go back that way. So, we are done with that for now, and I think the episode's going to end with, we just grab this line, Lalby Railway, and we're going to change some stuff around here. So, four is there, so five we need to get rid of, and then, where's six? Where is six? Lalby. Here it is. Oh, it's, it's five now. I was, like, I was looking for six, and it just changed to five because I deleted something. No, we'll get rid of that. So, after Mount Victory, we're going to go over to... Somerville, please, there we go, Oop, put it on twice, apparently it didn't, okay, <laughs> okay game, and then we need a checkpoint, don't we, so waypoints, 
So the checkpoint goes down that side and then the signal goes down on that side. Cool. So just before Mount Victory then we need to put that there. After Somerville we're going this way again so let's mark it on the signal. And then going all the way back we're going to probably... Uh, now what should we do? Should we go... Hmm, that's a tricky question. Through Mount Victory, but then I'll have to add another water tower, I think. Or, fast route. I'm going to put through Mount Victory, I think that's better. So, after that, we'll go back to Mount Victory. Then we'll go, uh, we'll ignore the checkpoint. We'll go back this way to Lauby, and then we'll back to the start again, I think. Right? Yes. Okay, good stuff. Let's give that a try. Uh, first of all, got to add a water tower because otherwise we're going to run out of water. So, let's chuck one of these guys on both ends of the platform. Set it to go forward. And let's find our train. So, where are we here? Train, train, train. Here you are, the Borsig. The top of board. Borsig's pulling in to Lauby. My favourite station so far in the Let's Play. It's very, don't you agree, it's so beautiful. Such a nice looking station. Anyway, people are hopping aboard or getting off. 48 people on board, ready for the grand unveiling of the underground subway. First stop is Mount Victory, and second stop is the new station. Let's go. Here it is. We're going underground. Here comes the tunnel. Oh, I've hit my mouse by mistake. Oh dear. All right, I'm going to go a little bit lower because I don't want to get hit by the roof. But we're going in. We're inside the tunnel. Uh, because the train's in a tunnel, the uh, the game automatically unrenders the smoke. Nice one. Wow, look at that. That is cool. That's a screenshot right there. Wow, that is nice. I like that very much so. Wow, okay, let's hop aboard the train before we get sucked into a wall. But that is really cool stuff. 86 people on board. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was really awesome. I'm definitely going to use more of these. That was really cool. Now let's see how it handles on the way back. Is it going to slow down because of the hill? I don't think so. It's going to slow a little bit because it's a hill. But because I made it such a smooth hill, it did cost me 2 million, remember? It's not slowing down too much, which is very good. Because... If we're slowing down a lot, people are going to choose alternate transport, such as private transport. And you know what that means. Cars everywhere. So we don't want that. We want people to use our trains, make us money, and keep the roads clear for our industrial uh, vehicles. But yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, that was really awesome. I really enjoyed that, actually. That was really cool. So I'd like to say thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can head over to my Patreon, or you can press subscribe. And I'd just like to say, I just launched a new tier on my Patreon specifically for this series. So if that's something that interests you, definitely go over there and check it out. That would help me out a lot. But thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in episode 15. Goodbye.